I think our uh, our big guys are setting good screens for him, giving him a little daylight. Uh, I think that's important. Um, CJ's a really good player. Uh, you know, I think he's you know, he's very diligent in his preparation, uh, watching video, and seeing things that he can do. So um, I think he's really, I think CJ's really locked in. Uh, I thought game two was a big improvement over game one. Uh, the areas that we were concerned about, we got it better in each one of them. Transition, uh, offensive rebounds, uh, our pick and roll defense. Uh, it was just up and down the line. Our deep, we were much better in, the, in game two. What do you expect to be different from the Thunders as simple as making more shots? Uh, well, you know, playing at home makes a difference for everybody. Uh, I expect them to be even more aggressive, more physical. Um, you know they'll, you know they're going to come out uh, really focused. I don't know, you know, preparation-wise, you, you try and anticipate changes that they might make, but uh, it's probably just their, their mindset coming into Game Three. Be good for tomorrow. I'm sorry. No, Ennis is going to be good for tomorrow. Yeah, everybody's as of now, everybody's a go. Uh, Mo and Dame were not a fan of the storm last night. Was that just old hat for you? I've been through a few Oklahoma storms. Yeah, so. Um, See, when they say it rains a lot in Portland, it doesn't rain like that. <laughs> How did that one compare? I mean, I've not been through one. I thought it was pretty exciting. No, it was, it was, it was big time. Uh, but, you know, the people in Oklahoma are used to either thunderstorms or tornadoes. So that's uh, not everyday thing, but it's, it occurs.